Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is exactly where I left you off last time. Here with Hilda as the MVP. And her motivation maxed out. She freaking loved that fight. She loved punching the shit out of everybody. Connecting? What are we connecting to? Hello, yes, we need to save. Lots of saving. Well, let's see what happens after we save them. They're both alive. Thank goodness. You actually found Flane? Nice work. It is a shame you could not be there, Claude. I would have liked for you to witness our mortal struggle against the Death Knight. Um, he literally got away. <laughs> hey, at least we managed to rescue Flane and complete our mission. That's what counts, right? True, right. true. Excellent work, everyone. Now then, let's get these limp ladies to the infirmary, shall we? What a name, no limp ladies. I can carry them both at once. Be gentle with them, Raphael. Let us carry each one individually. And slowly. You know, Probably a good idea. Seeing you smile sure makes me feel better. You look happy for a change. Hmm? Do you really not know? Well, truth is, I've never seen you smile before now. What? At times, it made me wonder whether you were even human. But I suppose that was just my imagination running wild. Anyhow, we've probably kept Sedith waiting about as long as he can stand. Let's hurry up and tell him the great news. Yeah, he could probably use some good news. He's probably been tripping. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. I mean, we literally couldn't do it without the students. We needed an army, yes, so... of course. I shall express my gratitude to the students as well. Um, by the way, uh... Why was she taken? Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the rite of rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flame's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not yeah, like Flane, what the hell? your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? Huh? That's a great idea. You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. Hell yeah, if Flame. Like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? Um, duh. I'm so glad that Flane is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. What other girl? She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? No one knows to what you're referring well to. Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. You sure were. 
I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely. As is Monica. Monica, huh? It's Moni Who is Monica? Monica. The girl you rescued along with Flane is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... What? She is a student from last year's class. She went missing... Oh shit, so she's been friends. missing for a hot minute. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. Oof. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. That's messed up. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Sure. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. That's fair, that's fair. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field. Next Ooh, month. the real Battle of Eagle and Lion is coming up. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. And then I believe I'll have to double check my research. That's another one of those mock so battles where people can die. Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? Nope. There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Okay, okay. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. I love how you just say that casually. What will you do next month? I have my own mission. The church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. That's fair, that's fair. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Hmm, that's true. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Uh, that's an issue. Not that it's likely, <coughs> but if something like that ever happens to me, um, search this room. Every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Okay. That's a weird thing to say, but... Yeah, don't say things like don't that. Don't get me wrong. I have no intention of dying. Well, that's good. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? Just a little one, I guess. Just a wee smile. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little heal. We deserve it. Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fotland's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. I'm especially excited for this episode because we're going to be doing a lot of classing up for everybody right now. And finally, we'll have some like diversity in the team and different classes and cool stuff like that. So that's going to be neat. I need somebody to come fix this freaking chair. It keeps trying to eject me. I know I complain about it a lot, but it's actually an issue. We have $20,000 in this game. Jesus. Raphael, what's up, man? Great timing, Professor. I was just going to come find you. You literally did. <laughs> Are you busy? I have a question about formations. Well, tell us about I it. I don't understand them at all. Oh. Are the speed of battle and the terrain connected somehow? There's too much to memorize. You gotta learn it all, sir. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Apparently you don't have to remember I everything. I don't? Then what do I have to know? I think I understand the basics. To start, you just... Ah, okay. I think I've got it. Thanks Do for you? the help, Professor. 
Brains and brawn. You've really got it all. Well, thank you. With your help, I should have no trouble becoming a proper knight. Hopefully. Why do you want to be a knight, man? Huh? Didn't I tell you? No. My parents were merchants of the Alliance. They died in an accident. Well, that's pretty messed up. I'm that's sorry. why it's up to me to look after my little sis. I'm not great with bookkeeping, so I don't think I'd make a good merchant. That's fair. I talked to Grandpa, and he suggested I become a knight. Oh, okay. So I sold all our valuables and used the money to pay my way into the academy. Oh my god. My sis won't survive if I get kicked out. So I can't give up now. That's fair, that's fair. That's a lot on the line. I might have tried being a mercenary if I didn't have my little sis to look after. That makes sense. I probably shouldn't say this, but being a mercenary does sound like an easier life. I mean, it probably does. Mercenary, this era. no responsibilities, and no one else to worry about. That makes sense. But someone's got to take care of my little sis, so that's out of the question. Serving as a knight in a noble house is more secure, and you don't have to worry about dying unless there's a war. Unless there's a my war. My sis has been through so much. I don't want her to have to worry about me. That's fair. Hey, do you have any siblings, Professor? Um, in real life, yes. In this game, no. Then you probably think I'm missing out on my freedom, having to support her, huh? No. But working hard for my sister isn't too bad. No, that's good that you want to look out for her. Call it a burden, call it a challenge. If it makes my sister happy, I'm happy too. You should ask your father to have some more kids. <laughs> what anyway, a weird thing to say. That's why I've got to become a proper knight. All right, Raphael. That's fair, that's fair. What's up? It's finally time. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. Oh no, we didn't forget. We're freaking ready. I know a little about it. You're kidding. Didn't Rhea or Sedith fill you in? Guess I have to do everything myself around here. Apparently so. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. It is a mock battle. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrett Mach. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hey, Claude, what about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I think I'm so. I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, oh, as is just Professor kidding. Anna. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. In that case, I guess we have to sit out too. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield, anyway. <laughs> Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oof. If I'm the only professor present. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. That seems a little unfair, to be honest. But we'll do it. We'll, we'll still use Savage to kick their ass. It's fine. So that's what we have at the end of the month. Oh, Marianne, what's up? Um, Professor? Uh-huh. There's something I need to say. Feel free. I'm happy to listen. Thank you. How should I put this? I don't seem to be getting along with everyone. 
I don't contribute much either. That is incorrect. A nuisance to you, Professor? If so, I'll leave. Of course, my adoptive father may not understand, but if I must... Your adoptive father? That's the line that we're catching on? He's one of the new nobles of the Alliance. His territory is to the north. He was a distant relative who took me in after my parents vanished. He's blessed with great drive and ambition. Some may go so far as to call it avarice. He wishes to marry me off to a powerful noble. That's why he sent me to the Academy. If I left now, I'm sure he'd have a strong opinion about it. Uh, sorry, I strayed away from the topic. I'm not good at telling stories either. Oh, of course. Where was I? So, as I was saying, are you sure I'm not bothering you, Professor? You're no bother at all, Marion. Oh, I'm so grateful to hear you say that. What I'm trying to say is, you should keep your distance. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. That is incorrect. I won't uh, agree to that. You only say that because you don't know the real me. I'm well, then how about you tell us about it? There's some big old secret with Marianne that I'm just not too sure about yet, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. We finna figure it out. Alright, so finally we can do all of these things. 98% of people explore today, so we will probably be exploring as well. But first, first, we have a lot of... Well, first off, support, I guess. Time to rest. Hey, Raphael. This scene, why is it oddly familiar? <laughs> it's almost like this stuff is drawn to me whenever I'm in town. I'm just happy I can use my muscles to help out around here. But isn't your goal to become a knight? Running errands isn't exactly a knight's job. I heard that proper knights always help those in need. Isn't that right? Well, you're not wrong, but I think most people would consider that only a small part of a knight's duty. A knight's main function is to fight and defend, don't you think? That said, I'll agree that helping anyone and everyone who needs it makes you a remarkably virtuous person, which is even better. If someone virtuous becomes a knight, they'll be a virtuous knight, right? That's about as proper as you can get. I... Uh, yes, I suppose so. I, for one, would certainly look for virtue in any knight that I recruited. So you're saying I'm the type of knight you want to hire for House Regan? Absolutely. If I somehow actually manage to become the head of my house, that is. I can't see into the future, but you have my word that I'll do all I can to help make your dream a reality. That is, if you're actually able to let somebody help you out rather than helping out the whole world by yourself. I'm not gonna stop helping others, but you can do me all the favors you want. All this talk of being proper is making me hungry. For my first favor, why don't you bring me a snack? <laughs> that was actually hilarious. Raphael's just a character, and Claude is a character too, but I wasn't expecting that dynamic to go that way. That's hilarious. Who's on it? Let's see more Raphael. We love him. Him and Lysithia, that'll be interesting. So heavy. Uh, I think I might have borrowed one too many books this time. And I have to return them at some point. What's going on? Everything okay? Ugh, just my luck. Lysithia? Oh, wow. Look at the mess you made. Thank you for the assistance. I can take it from here. Were you planning on carrying this much weight on your own? Don't be ridiculous. You should have at least asked for help. They're all books I need for my studies, and it's my own responsibility. No need to involve others. I'm happy to help you carry some of them. How about half? That's fair, right? No, really, I have this. I am not incapable, and I'm not a child. <laughs> as smart as you are, you sure are a silly person. I'm so tough. I'm gonna stand my ground. I don't need help from anyone. 
And when things don't go my way, I'm gonna act all sad and moody. You are remarkably talented at channeling me. Huh? Oh, no. Sorry. I was imitating my little sister. Her name's Maya. She's way smart, but she can be pretty stubborn. You remind me of her. W what I mean to say is that I want to help. So swallow your pride and ask. <sighs> I'll be carrying the stack of books now. Got a problem with that? Yeah, yeah. You seem obstinately determined to go against my wishes. All right. Is this a good spot to drop them? Hey, what are you doing? They need to be stacked neatly, otherwise they'll topple. This one needs to be rearranged, otherwise the rest won't fit properly. Wow, talk about picky. You're the one who was so insistent on helping. If you're gonna help, do it right or don't bother. Fine, fine. I think Raphael is very quickly becoming my favorite character. <laughs> Honestly. Super. He's just so funny. Alright, Marianne, tell us more about your deep, dark secrets. Marianne, do you mind if I ask you about something? Yes. It's about animal behavior. Among us all, you surely know the most about animals. I've read that in outdoor battles, wild animals can sometimes cause unexpected confusion. What do you think would be the best strategy to... Um, are you listening, Marianne? I was listening. I just don't think I can really... For crying out loud! Why do you always have to admit defeat before even giving yourself a chance? My advice would probably just put everyone in danger. You'd be better off without me. This is beyond ridiculous. You're impossible. You seem convinced you're some sort of cursed being, destined to bring doom and gloom to anyone you encounter. Well... Why do you have such a terrible opinion of yourself? How could you possibly be so dense? I just... Just nothing. Now you listen to me for a moment. I can see that you have some deep-seated turmoil you struggle with. I'll have you know I have quite a few issues of my own, perhaps more grave than yours, if you can imagine. R really Yes, but I'm not the only one who has such troubles to contend with. Everyone does. That's why it's so important to maintain a positive outlook and do what we can. Each time we find the light in the dark, we grow bit by bit. And without growth, what's the point in carrying on? Lysithia... I envy your confidence and strength. Don't envy me. Instead, just choose to find the positive, won't you? Yes. Well, maybe someday. The time is now! This is your moment! Oh, okay. That's more like it. Now to start, why don't you help me out by answering my questions about wild animals? I'll certainly try my best. Well, that was kind of cute. I mean, Lysithia does need motivation. I love Lysithia, but it does kind of make me sad that she's like, murr on herself. So that's all of them for right now. Now, what I was going to originally do is we need to look at everybody who needs to class up. I guess this isn't the best place to do it. Let's go to certifications. So Savage definitely learned Myrmidon. So let's, he has the options now between either Mercenary or Thief. Strong and speedy, gets the job done, or fast. No, I'm going to make him a mercenary. Oh, I don't have any intermediate seals. Hold up, then we'll go to the marked place. Hold up, grab the wall. Oof, he only has three for sale. You want to give me more? Like, <laughs> the fuck? We need so much more. So, Savage, you're going to become a mercenary. 
his time. Perfecto! Yeah, that hundred percent chance. I mean, he he was doing it. He's a mercenary you now. A new path to tread. Um, yes. Turn into this class. Claude, you have not mastered fighter yet, so you can chill. Lorenz, you did master soldier. So it's time to put you on a freaking horse, my dude. Cavalier, yes, yes. Time for a horsey. He has one. Look, it's beautiful. He's stoked about it. Was there any doubt? <laughs> no, I guess not. Now you're Cavalier. Raphael, you already are a knight, so that's pretty cool. Ignatz, you did not master mercenary yet. You already freaking master mage. But I want to save my intermediate seals for like Hilda, who hasn't done it yet. A brigand? Yes. What are the other options? Yeah, I think brigand's best for her. Look at Hilda now. She's gonna become a monster. Gosh. Yes. I think I'm out of intermediate skills now, which I can make Leone either a Cavalier or a Pegasus Knight. I'm really thinking Pegasus Knight. And then, of course, we have Flane now. Flane, you still haven't mastered Monk. I don't know why they have you start off without her having Monk done, but that's what I want. <laughs> Just gotta get that Monk skill first. She is a mage type. I have succeeded! So we have like three mages. We have like an army of mages in this one, which is interesting. I need to get another intermediate seal. But homeboy doesn't have any, so we might have to wait on that. Which sucks, actually. But let's go ahead and go over combat arts. No. Bill is. Because, like, you don't even use brawling, so unequip that. Authority. Let's give it a faith. Let's get that speed plus two and battalion advantage on. That makes savage. Lit. Claude, you're still chilling. Oh my god, that goes by so fast. Let's give you, instead of faith one, let's give you defense plus two. You have rally strength. Strength plus two, weight minus three, HP plus five. Oof, and lance breaker. Uh, yeah, I'm good with what you have, actually. You're pretty set. Goody basket. What's that? Chance to recover up to 10% magic. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. Ignatz. Let's see. You're chilling. You have fiendish blow. What does that do again? If a unit initiates combat magic plus six. Oh my freaking god, that's huge. That is huge for her. Let's see, you might as well take authority because you have nothing else equipped there, Marianne. Marianne, let's get rid of your lance prowess. We never have you use lance. And then strength plus two. Leone, let's get rid of bow prowess because you never use that. Defense plus two, that sounds great. Flane, you have like nothing. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have a whole ass new party member as far as Flane is concerned. So let's check her out. Put her on the monk stat. She has Lance Prowess too, so she could go. I kind of do push her a little bit towards the Pegasus Knight path, but I do want to get the monk skill for her. I think it'll be useful. But yeah. So she's she's on our team now. She has Nosferatu. I think that's all she has. For right now. So that kind of sucks. Let's check out her items. She literally has an intermediate seal on her. Oh my god. Give that to me. Leone! Take the test! Let's make Leone a Pegasus Knight. Because we can. Because we can. Perfect. Now we've got diversity on the team. We've really bul bulked up. Yes. So she is chilling. Ignatz, once you master mercenary, then I want to. I think I want to make him a thief. I think that'd be fun. Or he could be a sniper, but I think Claude's gonna be a sniper. He needs the master fighter too. 
so it's really focusing on those two but we will do that in the next episode because we just hit the 30 minute mark thank you guys so much for watching this episode of fire emblem three houses make sure to smash that like button show your support for the series your support always means so much subscribe to the channel if you have not already so you can see more content like this and i will see you 